Hello, in this uh, video, I will show you how to find the um, linear regression line, the correlation coefficient R, and also the um, the residue of the data set. So here the problem like this. So an anthropologist find out the skeleton remain and they need to pick out the height of a person. So the height of the person, it depends on the bone, uh, the metacarpal bone. Um, so in here, they have 20 data sets. So we're first, we're going to copy this data uh, right here, and then we're going to paste on uh, the app right here. So you can go down on the link below. You find the app and then follow along. Okay, so I got to remove this one so that I have more room to do because I don't need that part right here. Um, so first, you're going to highlight this one right here. Highlight the data. Okay. Yes. And then you're gonna to um, select from this menu right here to two, two variable regression analysis. And then it's gonna have all this one for you, the scatter plots spot right here. Um, uh, scatter plots right here, you see that part. Uh, so for example, the 46, 175. So I have here 46, the value right here, 175. So for you to see and so on, you can see the whole thing right here, yeah. And you also can find the linear regression uh, line by click on this part here, do linear, then you have a line right here. And they also give you the equation, this part here. And you like to see what the correlation uh, coefficient for this one are. It's sort of like, like almost closer to the line, right? But it's very hard to get the value. So the GeoGebra calculated for you. So the point would be 0 0.85, if you route it would be 0.86 or something. Um, if you route two decimal places, so you have that part right there. Okay. Now, um, the next one is um, you want to find the value. So the equation right here, right? So if you do the equation, uh, this one, they have the scatter plots right here. You can do one of them from there. Um, over here, they ask for the equation. Is sim this one, like, you no, know, it's like model. It's not the real one. So we're going to have the P hat. I mean, Y hat instead of um, Y you have in there. And then, so equation is right here for you. Uh, so 87 point something. So this would be your y-intercept. And this one would be your slope right here. If you write it 186, something you have right there. OK. Um, and then over here, they ask for your restricted domain because this model is based on the data. So if you do something outside, it may be not accurate anymore. So the number here, 80, 38, is the right here, right? So this number right here will be 39, right here. The smallest value you can have over here, 39, and the big value you can have, it will be 51. So whenever the data you choose have to be in that domain, otherwise it doesn't work. Okay, so that's if I have this number here for you. Okay, now, um, so the slope, it tell us like, you know, at any time I go one unit to the right and how many I go up, that's what the slope stands for, a slope right here stands for. So that means I go one unit to the right, I go up 1.8557. So that's what I have right there. So you can see um, <clears throat> the answer that I have here. Okay, anytime I go one, then I will go um, up to uh, 1.86. That's what I have right here, the number for that for you. And the y in the set, that means y in the set that get let's say, right? So I mean x equals zero. So when x equals zero, I have the height over here that would be 186. Uh, I mean, the height would be 87.8. Um, so that's what we have right here, zero. And um, the answer over here would be 87.04. Like you see right here, same thing that the y in the set right here. But this one doesn't make sense because Oh, if you have the remain is zero, the bone remain is zero, uh, that means that person did not exist, right? So how do you have the high uh, one point something? And another thing here, the number had to be in between the uh, restricted domain that you have in there. So therefore this answer doesn't make sense. So now um, suppose that we're gonna find out um, the data set for right here. We're gonna find out what the value of over here, 45, the answer would be 173. Um, That's what the observed value, right? Okay, but use this model right here. So let's see, what do I get for that part? So I would have over here, that would be um, 45, enter in here, and then I enter. Let me try it one more time. 45, enter. Then you have the value at 1.70 something. 
However, over here, the 45, 1.70 something, right? So therefore that the difference between this value and um, the, um, the, the model value, that would be your residual. So if you subtract those two value, then you will have the answer right here. So you have 173 and subtract the model. So you see right here, uh, I have 45 is right here, right? So my point is above the line. So that's why I have positive here. Uh, so if I have below the line like this one over here, like 47, so I can have negative. So that's what I have there. Uh, so you subtract 1.73 and you subtract 1.70.54 and then you will have the answer right here. Now you can visualize by graph the residue. That means uh, they grab you all the point that how far they from the the red line over there that would be that part right so you can do like this you click on this one here click on residual plus so here you go so you have here 145 this like um two point something unit over there so from here five this one two point something um so that's how you looking for the residue in the uh, plot okay